Brumbin Sanctuary Wildlife Hospital, the staff and volunteers work tirelessly to save the lives of thousands of animals. Wonderful. Thanks, Tash. So this, this little guy here um, has been here for quite a while now, was uh, hit by a car, gosh it must be going back four or five weeks, yeah, and okay. um, actually has a broken pelvis. Now that's, that's doing very well. Um, he's also got a, a serious eye problem on both eyes um, where he had a lot of inflammation in his eyes and it causes some scarring on his eyes. So we're just having a little look today to see how things are going, but um, the good thing for echidnas are they don't rely on their sight very much. Um, they've got tiny little eyes and um, they rely very heavily heavily on their other senses, their sense of touch, using their beak in the ground to sense where the termites are, so their sight doesn't have to be perfect for him to really thrive out there in the wild and do well. So does he have a quirky name too? <laughs> Thorny, this guy, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Who comes up with all of these names look, for the animals? It's definitely not me, I can <laughs> promise you that. But, um, look, the volunteers certainly can you know, get the opportunity to name a lot of them and the nurses. And yeah, not all the patients earn names, but certainly they've been here four weeks. Yeah, they, they earn a name and they become you know, really part of the place. And um, you know, we get to know them very, very well. And um, Thorny here is you know, used to being handled. Uh, echidnas do coil up quite tightly mm. when they're when they first arrive and they're frightened but um, he's used to us getting him out and having a look at him now. So, so it's, it's not too difficult out. to have a look at him with all those thorns? No, no, well, it's still, there's a bit of an art to it but um, but he's he's learnt to relax and learnt to accept that you, you know we're not really out to cause any problems and life's really quite good in here. You're helping him. Yeah, him. that's right. He's, he has food brought to him so you know kidneys are naturally a little bit lazy so you know <laughs> life is good and food's coming to him. When are you hoping to have him back out in the wild? Look, for him, I think realistically, it's probably still another three or four weeks away. Okay. Uh, it's it's quite a long term um, project with him. His pelvis is pretty knocked around, but it's healing nicely. So very confident of, of getting him back out there. And we can do a lot for these animals. Um, you, you know, we've really got a wonderful hospital here. It's a state of the art facility, and these injured animals they can be treated, they can be saved, and they can be released back out into the wild where they came from. So if you're finding an injured animal, then do contact us. You, you know, we can give it advice as far as a safe way to you know, pick up that animal and get it into us as quick as possible. We survive on sponsorships and donations to keep this hospital running and to keep it open so um, sponsoring through our, web, our website, um, so Crumb and Wildlife Hospital Foundation, going to that website, donating, there's so many different ways people can help out there and it makes a real difference for us. Mm -hmm.